Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now guys, I'm back here with my 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch. And if you watched the last three episodes, you probably saw me get this, open it, saw, saw a few issues with it that I had, um, and also realized that we were stuck on Lion. Um, I wanted to kind of do this video as a, a next step because we are going to put the OpenCore legacy patcher on here and download the most recent software. But what I realized is that when you're on Lion, you can literally do nothing. You can't use Safari, you can't use any of the app store. It's, it's too old, it doesn't let you do anything. Back then, Apple, when you had a, a software update, Apple used to make you go and download that installer and download it. Um, the, the software updates weren't too forthcoming back then until High Sierra. Now, the problem is, is that you cannot, how you would do it is you would go on to Apple support and you would down, go on to the, the installer and you would download it off of the website. But now you can see that I've got my other MacBook here. And I want to show you in this video of how I finally managed to overcome the issue and actually get, you can see it's now running High Sierra. Uh, and get High Sierra on here because I was finding that with Lion, because it was so old, I kept running into issues where actually it was becoming slow at the same time. Well, this is actually this is actually really punchy and snappy on here. But what was going on was it actually corrupted itself, and then I had problems booting it, and I had to then go through and, and erase the disk again and reinstall Lion. So what I did is I went to my other MacBook because there was no way of me doing it on there. I tried it on uh, downloading Chrome. It, it wouldn't, wouldn't work. Firefox wouldn't even work. You, you needed an even newer version of Mac OS to run Firefox. Um, and the only one I didn't try is Brave. But by the time I tried those other two, I, I'd had enough. So I pulled out my other MacBook. And I went to support.apple.com forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash 102662. And this will bring you to the page of how to install, uh, how to download and install Mac OS. Um, and down here is basically the, the actual software for all of them, including High Sierra. And with High Sierra, when you click that, that download, it will download the installer package into your downloads. If you then copy that to USB, like this one, and one thing I have to mention about the USB, don't do what I did originally. As soon as you put it in a Mac, sometimes you think, okay, I'm gonna put it to FAT32, but the problem is, is that with FAT32, 32 is that it only lets you copy over five gigabytes of data. So put it into XFAT um, format, copy that download over. And then I literally just went over and plugged this USB into here, open up the driver and away I went. It downloaded absolutely fine, even with no other support. And now at least it is usable. It lets me go on Apple. And it now actually also lets me go onto the OpenCore Legacy Patcher website, where I can then actually, well, the, the GitHub website, so I can actually then download OpenCore Legacy Patcher um, and do it and, and put the USB in and actually be able to boot it and run it straight from this laptop, uh, which means I don't have to create a bootable drive. As such, you still have to create a bootable drive, but you do it from the laptop itself. So. Guys, if, if you have an older MacBook and um, you know what, around this time of year, there's a lot of people that go out and buy older MacBooks because why not? Something like this, as I said, this 2011 one is still usable, you know, even with High Sierra, it's still there, it's still usable. You can still surf the net, still watch videos on YouTube, etc. cetera. Um, and it's still quick and snappy because this has 16 gigabyte of RAM and it also has an SSD um, and it's punchy, it's quick. Um, it's it's still, you know what, I'm actually still pretty impressed with it. Okay, Safari might take 
you're five seconds to open. You know, it's not their instant, but five seconds. You can see I've got the open core legacy patcher there ready for the next video. But yeah, coming, I, I digress, I apologize. But yeah, coming into this, people are going to be starting buying these older laptops because they are good value for money, especially with everything at the moment, especially people that need a laptop. And they might be coming into this problem. You might find yourself coming to this problem where you're stuck online, you can't do anything, and you're thinking, I've bought a laptop and I cannot use it. It won't upgrade, it won't do anything. This will get you to that next step, to High Sierra. And then if you want to then try Open Core Legacy Patcher, then it allows you onto the web page to at least download it and do it. So guys, if you want to keep an eye out for the next video, then please do subscribe to the channel. Please hit like on this video and keep an eye out for that one. I will be making more around this laptop and especially more on Open Core Legacy Patcher and see how these 2011 MacBooks and the older MacBooks run it. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.